close your eyes <clears throat> and watch your breath. Watch your breath all the way in, watch it all the way out. Try to stay right here with the breath. Don't go wandering off, because the breath is coming in and out all the time. What makes the meditation special is you stay with the breath. You keep your attention focused here instead of directing it outside someplace else. This is an important quality in our lives. We come to the monastery, we practice because we want to find some progress in our lives. We want to make something out of our lives. As the Buddha said, there are four qualities that go toward advancing yourself in the aims that you want. Two of them come from your past actions, there are things that you've already done. One is you're born in a suitable country that's suitable for the practice of the Dharma, and two, you're, you've got merit that you made in the past. If you didn't have merit, you wouldn't be sitting here right now. So you've got some merit in coming in from the past. You want to make the most of that, though. That's what the other two qualities are about. The first one is associating with good people, because you pick up the habits of the people you associate with. Now, when you're hanging around people, it's, it's easy to read them what kind of people are trustworthy and what are not. Of course, there are some people that are hard to read, but it's even harder when you're reading people online or people in, in magazines or in newspapers. So you have to be very careful about what you're picking up from the world outside, what values you're picking up, whose values are they expounding, why are they telling you these things, what do they want out of you. These are the questions you have to ask when you turn on, turn on the computer or you turn on the TV. So you don't get sucked in by other people's attitudes, attitudes that are oftentimes directly opposed to what your true well-being would be. So you have to be careful about who you hang out with, both in terms of the actual people you hang out with and also where you hang out on the internet, where you hang out on TV and all the other media. And then the fourth quality is directing yourself rightly. This is when you ask yourself, where do you want to go in life? What direction do you want? What do you want to accomplish in life? And aim toward developing good qualities in the mind. Develop your perfections. Because the other things we aim at in life, they give only a temporary satisfaction. You aim at power, you aim at wealth, you aim at status. Okay, You can gain these things, but then the question is, once you've got them, are they good for you? What are you going to do with them? Well, if your mind is well-directed, you gain these things and you can use them to good purpose. If your mind is ill-directed, you get these things and they can destroy you. So happiness life doesn't, in life doesn't depend so much on what you get out of life, it's what you put in and the direction you give it. People sometimes ask, what is the purpose of life? And the answer is, well, what purpose do you have? It's entirely up to you. You're the one who's directing yourself. So be careful to watch out for influences from other people might want to direct you in ways that are not for your true benefit. And look at yourself, because sometimes your greed, aversion, and delusion get in the way of your seeing what really is to your benefit, too. What direction do you want in life? When you, in life, when you look back on your life, what do you want to look back on? What do you want to have accomplished? If you've developed good qualities in the mind, those are things you don't just look back on. They'll be there with you, and they'll carry you through to the next life, where you've made merit in the past and you'll find a good place to practice again. And then you have to make sure that you keep protecting these two other qualities of watching out who you associate with and making sure that you, your own purposes in life are well-directed. That's where you can be sure that your life and your lives will develop in a way that really is in advance and doesn't move backwards.